So, um, in case you were wondering about that, I just found a fidget spinner on my desk and, uh, wanted to put in a video because I'm very relevant. So, just to say, I'm finally introducing an upload schedule, yeah! So, a new video will be going live every Sunday, but yeah, um, so there's gonna be a new video every Sunday coming out, and I might increase it to two times a week, but for now it's just one because I've been having problems with uploading lately, and you know that that's... Yeah. Today I'm gonna be doing the no rubber slash, like, changing anything challenge, and I'm using a, um, a biro to do it just to make it a little bit harder. So I'm gonna be drawing a whole image with a biro with no rubbing out or anything like that. And you could say that's quite an easy challenge, but usually I would use like construction lines and rub out quite a lot, so yeah. So, um, I'm gonna try and draw something pretty detailed just to make it a bit harder. So I'm gonna draw like a big mech. Now, byros, because they're like, can, they can kind of create different thicknesses. I can do some form of construction lines, but, um, they're gonna have to stay with me for the whole time, so that's not ideal. So I'm just kind of roughly sketching in the proportions of this guy. I'm gonna give him three eyes. Just It'll just look like a normal guy, but with a third eye just for the beginning. Um, and then I'll give him kind of like a, a face mask. All right, so there's that guy. No completely awful mistakes in those construction lines. That's not too bad. I'm just going to fix up the shape of the back of his head, then I'm going to give him a mohawk. Just a bit of intrigue. Right, there we go, there's the construction lines for the head. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, I'm just going to add in the neck. It's going to have quite a thick neck. Yeah, there we go. So, now I'm going to make a start on the mech suit. So he's going to have like a rounded off collar. I'm just adding a bit of detail in the collar there, and then uh, he's gonna have two shoulder plates, just like this. All right. So there is our character so far. No horrible mistakes, just kind of average. So th that's good so far. And it's funny to be doing this landscape, but that's just how I'm gonna get it to all fit on the camera. Sorry about that. Then he's gonna have a wee backpack with some spikes up the back. All right, now to start on like the actual part of the mech suit. So he's gonna have a quite big torso section. So there's his torso section. And cause that just looks really bland, I'm gonna have to kind of liven it up quite a lot. So I'll add like tube down the middle, then on either side I'll add some nodes coming in. All right, so those nodes turned out a bit messy. So I'm just going to clean it up with a couple of lines here. And yeah, okay, that looks half decent, that's fine. Now I'm just going to like add some lines coming down the middle section, just trying to make it make, fill in this blank space with as much detail as I can, just so, um, because I don't like to have blank spaces in my drawing. I'm going to add a few more nodes here, this time they're going to be like bubbles. All right, there we go, not too bad, not too bad. Um, now I'll add like some kind of a logo. So I always like to add like recurring patterns in my drawings. So with the nodes and also this kind of tubing, um, it just makes like the robot feel more detail and design heavy. All right, there we have it. Um, there's that side. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit of white space in there. Okay, there's the torso section filled in. Um, now I'm just gonna have a start on the arms. They're gonna cut the sides of his body like this And then I usually like to add the joint represented by a circle And then I'm just gonna add like big cannons on the end of his arms like this. Okay, those arms look pretty good um, I'm just gonna sketch in kind of like the torso on um, the lower body and the hips just so um, I Can just go around and add detail to everything. All right, but that's not looking too bad. No massive mistakes. I'm, I'm drawing this with kind of like a swimmer's shape, so triangular, um, just so it kind of flows in and out and makes him look quite bulky and strong. And I like doing that with um, robots, because um, it's useful to 
to make them look more powerful. I'm just going to repeat this nodes pattern down the side of both of his arms. Then continue a little line here. Alright, I'll do the nodes coming from here this time. Alright, now the, um, the lower section here is going to have to be detailed quite a lot. Just to make it pop a bit more. Adding in like two control pads on his cannons. A few little rows of buttons and levers and things. Okie dokie. Um, there's his cannons kind of beefed out quite a lot. And then um, I'm just going to add like a bit of a fall away in here. Okay, so it's obviously not perfect, but there's his arms beefed out quite a lot. So they look a bit more in touch with the rest of the drawing. Then I like to add little um, bits of black on most robots, such as like this bit of rubber. So I'm just going to shade all this in. Obviously not perfectly coloured, but that's fine. Now um, I'm just going to continue this pattern again. Alright, now I'm just going to do the same thing I did to the arms, to the legs. Uh, just detailing them up, making them fit in with the rest of him. Alrighty, there he is. So fully detailed. Um, no, it's just for the final step, and that is kind of shading. Kind of shading? Definitely shading. So for this drawing, I want to use kind of quite hard blacks for most of the shading. Alright, so I've gone in and kind of added these harsh blacks when necessary, but since they are so harsh, I kind of need to blend them in with a bit more like line shading. Alright, so there we have our robot. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that was the Just the Biro, No Rubber, No Construction Lines Challenge, and I think it turned out alright. So uh, yeah, um, that was that challenge, and I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next Three, Sunday. Three, two, one, drop it.